Hello my dear subscribers, today I want to tell you uh, for the all English speaking people uh, about the real meaning of Eurasian customer economical union. And my country is a victim of this union. Uh, I thought that we will take some benefits from this union, but uh, later before uh, they uh, started the process of public discussion about joining to the Union. I found that um, there is a dangerous and I made the signal for the society and make the signal for the, our president, our power uh, officials and say to them, don't, don't join to the Eurasian Union. It's a dangerous for our economy. But anyway, you know, it's a geopolitics, it's a real politics, hard politics, and that's why uh, the big countries um, initiated this union and they broke up our will and take us to the union and violate our economic development. How it happened? I will tell now. So, a little bit disclaimer, it's uh, my personal opinion and it's not related to all organizations which with whom I am working now. So, our country, our country is Kyrgyz Republic. We are a landlocked country. They are surrounded with China, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and uh, of course, our biggest three neighbors is China, Russia, India. And uh, we have a common uh, border with China. Now, it's uh, maybe dangerous, uh, but that it's exactly it's a big opportunities to make trade with China because China is a global factory. There, uh, I don't know, maybe 70, maybe 60 percent all goods in all over the world producing, and that's why be a neighbor of China. It's a sitting on the golden um, tree. I, I don't know golden river. And uh, Eurasian Union, it's a union uh, with uh, different rules, different uh, custom clearance, cost, etc. Et For example, uh, Kyrgyzstan from 1992 is a member of uh, World Trade Organizations. And uh, by the rules of the World Trade Organization, Kyrgyzstan simplified uh, its uh, uh, trade procedures. And that's uh, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, uh, accepted uh, the custom clearance cost as a uh, two five percent in average, but Eurasian Union is an uh, organization with internal rules, uh, and uh, it's a um, organization with the protectionism. That's why they have uh, custom clearance cost average twelve fifteen percent. It's a uh, uh, three times or four times more than five or two percent, or maybe five times, seven times, six times more than in the World Trade Organization. And that's why it's a barrier for uh, WTO members to trade with the Eurasian Union. It's a big problem because uh, one percent in macroeconomic it's very important for simple people to live, to make their businesses. So, after the analyzing that, uh, after the analyzing the documents in open sources of Eurasian Commission, Eurasian Union, I made the presentation in 2013 uh, to president, uh, to parliament, to community, to society. Our society uh, divided to big uh, two halves. First half said uh, we need to go to Eurasian Union because the goods, because the money will be transferred uh, very fast, and uh, for freedom we will take uh, it's a free capital movement, free people movement, free uh, money transfers movement, free goods movement. But it was just a marketing, just a advertisement because in reality, in real politics, it's not working. I made this presentation, uh, this presentation downloaded in 2013 to the uh, slide share. In 2012, this presentation was first uh, made and uh, sent to the community, to our society. 
And uh, in this presentation, uh, first slide, you see uh, the unions, uh, custom unions in the world. So I say, uh, by the, uh, the experience of uh, custom unions of the world, biggest countries winning in big unions and smallest countries losing. And first I say, uh, for example, uh, in the Eurasian Union, in custom uh, united uh, system, all countries giving their custom clearance money to the Moscow and Moscow dividing it to the shares. And share of Moscow is 88% to this time because Armenia wasn't in the union this time. Belarus uh, close to 5%, Kazakhstan close to 8%, and Kyrgyzstan close to 2%. Now Kyrgyzstan 1.8%. So uh, before Eurasian Union, I said, we collecting 34 billion soms, kg soms, uh, and after the entering to Eurasian Union, we will uh, give all this money to the Moscow, and money will calculate by the shares and send us a small share, 2%, and uh, maybe they will take some of money. Uh, for the commission or maybe we will make the corrections to the statistics because all statistics under their hand and close to five six billion sums will um, diffuse here and uh, i said that uh, close to five four million sum uh, we will not take it and it was my prediction and you know this prediction realize it to the reality for now we're giving close to 40 billion uh, soms custom clearance cost, custom clearance uh, money to the Moscow, and Moscow giving us 29, 28 billion som uh, back. Hmm, that's, that's right, yes. And uh, so we will lose, uh, controlled by us, 30, 53 million dollars per year, I said. And its prediction was realized. I said that uh, uh, the some part of money will not be transferred to the Kyrgyzstan because statistics will be under correction. Let's realize it too. It came to truth too. I said that we will, there will not be fair trade because the Eurasian Union, uh, they have a rules, they using their um, technical uh, requirements, special technical requirements, technical regulations they called. And these technical requirements, uh, uh, it's uh, very interesting, very convenient for Russian business because they have laboratories, they have specialists, and they are ready for this. They are not ready for this. And we ask it the money to set the laboratories, uh, set the special services to uh, measure quality, to help to our business people uh, make the higher quality and execute requirements of technical uh, regulations, but uh, they promised us 100 million, but three years they didn't give it. After three years, uh, our president say, if you will not give this 100 million, we don't need, we not need in this. And some countries uh, which promised this 100 million for our laboratory said, okay, no problem. And they didn't transfer money for us. So this prediction, uh, the result of this, uh, it's the Russia, Kazakhstan, for example, uh, Russia especially can uh, export their production to Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, but Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan couldn't uh, send the production to the Russia because there are technical requirements here and national uh, legislation here and uh, that uh, our production couldn't meet the requirements not much and that's why sometimes they stopping our goods on the border sometimes and using dozers to destroy our goods because they say oh your goods is not meet our requirements hmm. that's why it's a protectionism it's a means that um, only russia can tr make the trade fair trade in our the territory but we can couldn't our countries couldn't make the good trade some parts of our goods of course going to the russia going to the Rus uh, russian federation our countries of Eurasian Union, belarusia for example but it's a small amount biggest amount has uh, barriers 
So Nazarbayev said uh, we say, seeing that uh, our production couldn't uh, penetrate Russian market. It's not fair rule. That's right. I said I predicted this. I said Nazarbayev thinks that it will be hard to our national goods to go to Russian market, and uh, it's realized um, now and uh, all this time. <coughs> Uh, of course, uh, I said that uh, uh, in this presentation that uh, because we have uh, strong technical requirements from the Russia, so uh, I think that uh, smugglers will rise because if you couldn't uh, move the good to the country by the technical requirements, uh, by the official channels, you will find unofficial channels. And that's realized really in our country. We have uh, logistics monsters, uh, big companies or personalities who are controlling smuggler uh, activities. And it's happened. It's realized to the reality. I said in 2013 that all prices will rise for 40%. And it was realized too because I lived in Russia. I, I was uh, the graduate of uh, University of People Friendship, uh, University of Russia, and here I saw every year for 15 or for 14 percent, 40 percent uh, prices going up in Russia. And I said uh, high inflation here, high inflation because they are living by the oil uh, money, and that's why it will come to us. And really, it came to us. Uh, because uh, we have a common uh, custom union, and that's why we have a common custom cost, uh, custom clearance cost, and higher than in the WTO, etc., uh, etc. Et more uh, general reasons, and it's uh, brought us the high prices to all, high inflation. Uh, it's this prediction is realized for now. And I said that we will lose uh, lost, uh, national markets and we will lose our national producers. And it's realized too because, you know, uh, Kazakhstan and Russia selling the oil and by the selling oil, they give taking the big money and this money, they, subs they subsidize their uh, agricultural farms, agriculture, business people. But we couldn't make it. We don't have oil and special special resources for doing that. And that's why uh, our production, organic production of uh, agricultural sector is uh, more expensive than uh, the production from the Russia and Kazakhstan. So they came to us, they penetrate our market, uh, they made the high and big presence of production on our markets and sometimes they killed our farmers and our producers national product producers um, big number of very small national product producers closed their companies they gone to the bankruptcy because because big politic real politic Eurasian Union this prediction realized next prediction they said, if we will uh, not go to the Eurasian Union, 99% uh, of our oil and gasoline coming from the Russia, and they make us price high. And really, after the entering to the Eurasian Union, first for a couple of years, they kept uh, the prices to the gasoline on the small uh, level. Uh, the, uh, then price was something like uh, 32 Kyrgyzsoms per liter. It means uh, 32 Kyrgyzsoms, it's uh, uh, by uh, the uh, rate, uh, the rate of 2013, it's uh, like uh, 50 cents and uh, 50 cents per liter. But now, uh, above, after a couple years of uh, the, uh, our presence in the Eurasian Union, anyway, uh, they made the prices high and year by year and month by month cent by cent now uh, my prediction that anyway if we will go to the Eurasian Union if we will not go join to Eurasian Union anyway prices will be high it's realized our world 
uh, made the international sanctions against Russia, and Russia uh, had a big problem with oil price. Oil prices uh, went down, but after that, in a day, uh, they, um, to compensate the losers, made the prices high. And now, prices, again, one dollar per liter. What the happened next? Hmm. I made this presentation to the president, to the former prime minister, but they wasn't impressed. They said, anyway, we will join the Eurasian Union. And now I will tell you a real reason why Eurasian Union was raised, why they created Russia and Kazakhstan, especially Russia, why they created the Eurasian Union, and what's a real goal, real politic was here. You know, from the uh, 2000s, uh, Kyrgyzstan, from the 1992, became the part of, uh, became a member of WTO. And uh, it helped to uh, wake up the old uh, ancient Silk Road. And by this Silk Road, you see on the map that if uh, China is sending their goods through the Russia, they need to make a big way to bring goods to the Europe or to the Europe, uh, European part of Russia, the most of capital calculated for, for now and this time. Uh, of course, if um, it uh, will send through the Kazakhstan, it's okay, Kazakhstan a uh, good uh, way. But uh, in this time, uh, first, st uh, all trade started through the Kyrgyzstan, because Kyrgyzstan first was a member of WTO and first made the first uh, uh, automotive, automobile roads, automobile ways to the new Silk Road. And uh, China uh, start to make the uh, sending the goods through the Kyrgyzstan. And this market rises to five up to 11 million billion dollar per year. Uh, this uh, price of the goods crosses the Kyrgyz border. Of course, uh, close to 5% of this money, uh, it's a money which came to Kyrgyz Republic, to our, my country. And that's why it was the good part opportunity to develop. It, uh, I start to see uh, the many rich men in Kyrgyzstan. And a uh, big number of people started uh, to be involved in the international trade through the biggest Kyrgyz markets. Dordoi with the uh, turnover close to $4 billion per year. And Karasu on the south of my country, the turnover was $2 billion per year. And of course, uh, some people said, logistics, you making logistics? Uh, logistics, it's a, a bad thing. It's a not producing, uh, our people, our economists said. But you know, if you're American, you know that Boeing making uh, on the producing 62 billion dollars and covering all the world with their planes. But Walmart making on the logistics, on the trade, mm, 572 billion dollars. And that's why it means that logistics is a great thing. Why logistics is a bad? Logistics is a good. But hmm, maybe something additional happened. I think that uh, Mr. Vladimir Putin, uh, it's our official, uh, you can find it in our uh, sources of information, in the, our media. Uh, Vladimir Putin said, hey, Almas, uh, Almas Pekatamov is the name of our former president. Go to the uh, Eurasian Union, I will give you $2 billion. And uh, our president said, okay, I will build the hydropower plants, a huge hydropower plants our country need because in the winter time we need to switch off our electricity because it's not covering all the needs to the making the heating, electrical heating. And that's why uh, he said, I will build these hydropower plants, Kambarata 1, Kambarata 2, on the big river of Kyrgyzstan, Narin. 
and said okay and said to Prime Minister go to the Eurasian Union. But happened 2014, it was a catastrophic year for our economy. Uh, it's a year then Dordoy lo lost two billion dollar of turnover. Karasu lost uh, one and one point three billion dollar of turnover, and Kambarata guesses kept the strike. So this year happened. Our country entered to the Eurasian Union and signed all documents. And Russia started uh, to uh, conquer uh, Crimea and Ukraine. Donbass, Lugansk and every, uh, all countries in the world started to make the international sanctions. All prices gone down. And Mr. President of Russia said to our president, sorry, sorry, Alyosha, no money. Because uh, our president's name is Almas, uh, some Russian presidents, uh, some Russian elite called our president Alyosha hmm. on the Russian type of pronunciation of Kyrgyz name. So, no money, no funny, no Kambarata one, no Kambarata two, that's why no money for electricity in winter time to make the heating and that's why all our cities now using coal and by using coal we breathing with the smoke and coal smoke will kill us one time maybe what happened with the goods logistics waste so Kazakhstan prepared and opened the project of Horgos and two, three billion crossed Kyrgyzstan pastimes was turned to the Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan's Horgos developing well. But I can't say something bad about Kazakhstan. It's our neighbors. I love Kazakh people. And have we any clashes, but anyway, we were neighbors, we are relatives, and we will be together. A uh, big part of goods turned to the Russia, to the Trans-Siberian Magistral by Harbin, the by Kalks city, to the Chita. And Russia created, uh, and B, uh, B, Russia is a part of the BRICS, and uh, the Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. The, what it means that, for example, for now Kyrgyzstan in trade with China making custom clearance cost 15 or 12 percent. Russia making custom clearance course by BRICS to the China 2 percent. What it brought to the fact. For now, we have a common border with China, but we bringing the taking the goods from the China to Kyrgyzstan to Russia and Kazakhstan. For now, it's cheaper than to take the goods from the China straight to by our border. Because hmm, it's a politics. Our country captured, our country recolonized. And our country, of course, under the pressure of Russia and under the pressure of documents of Eurasian Union. Hmm. Good deal for Russia and Kazakhstan. Bad deal to Kyrgyzstan, for Kyrgyzstan. Why war happened now in the world? Because, for example, in Eastern Europe, Russian gas, natural gas, is number one, number one of goods. And uh, now all magistral going by the Russia, by, through the Ukraine side, and uh, of course Germany and France is biggest uh, uh, customer for the Russian natural gas. Ukraine has a biggest uh, distribution network for the gas, and that's why uh, it's a market of uh, with the price 1.2, 1.1 trillion dollar per year. Trillion dollar per year. That's why war happened. Just because of money, just because of logistics. So, for example, Ukraine 
uh, and the bull because Russia fighting to the market of 1.1, 1.2 billion dollar per year, and our we Kyrgyzstan without war and sometimes with war with Tajikistan, uh, conquered by the Eurasian Union. The very tricky, tricky organization which making us uh, poor and making little bit uh, richer Russia. So, two or sixteen billion dollar good trans goods transition from China intercepted by Russia. What now we trying to do to solve this problem? Okay, in this tricky way strike at us. How we solve this problem? We can solve this problem with the building of the railroad between China, Uzbekistan and um, of course this road you, you see on the map the puncture, uh, puncture, puncture line we need to unite this small 200 kilometers. Then we will bring back the big amount of goods transferring to our country and five six percent of this money will go to the country for now it's the biggest opportunity because in eastern europe something happening something happening and really one country fighting to our freedom especially for our economic freedom because real life real interests it's uh, already economic interests not just money but the opportunities to live good for now uh, russia uh, understanding that uh, the way uh, between china Kyrgyzstan, uzbekistan will be um, executed realize it it's a not good surprise not good thing for russia russia don't like this railroad between china Kyrgyzstan, and kazakhstan and but couldn't say something because something happening in eastern union eastern europe that's why russia involving to new our project uh, old or new it's a, a railroad to the coal base um, Karakiche. It's uh, from the Balochchi, Kochkor to Karakeche. We will see what will happen. So I told you about the real politic, about what's the real meaning, real uh, goal of Eurasian Union. I told you about that. Thank you for your attention. Maybe now you understand better what's happening with the big money in Central Asia. See you in the next my videos.